VFDs allow you to slow down the speed of your electric motor. But what's the minimum speed your motor should go? Hi, I'm Keith from eMotors, and today we're talking misconceptions about the minimum speeds that VFDs can provide in practical, real-world applications. Stay tuned. VFDs enable an electric motor to be operated slower than its base speed, and vector-controlled VFDs can even enable the motor to provide holding torque at standstill. But why is there a limit to how slow you can run the motor? For TEFC motors where the cooling fan is mounted on the motor shaft, motor cooling is proportional to the speed of the motor, and cooling is decreased when the motor slows down. Especially when operating with full torque at low speeds, heat stress can quickly build up in the motor and over time will drastically reduce its service life and drive up repair and replacement costs. This is why there are limits on how slow you can run your motor. Generally speaking, TEFC motors are not designed to operate at less than four to one speed range, meaning four times slower than the base speed. For example, an 1800 RPM motor could run at 450 RPM. Any lower than that, and the motor won't be able to cool itself fast enough. The heat will build up, damage the windings, and your motor will fail. However, there's a steep cooling drop off at the three to one speed ratio. To play it safe, I usually don't recommend going below three to one speed ratio or 20 Hertz on the VFD, especially if you have a high load. So I wouldn't typically run an 1800 RPM general purpose motor below 600 RPM. If you do need to go slower, some manufacturers make a 10 to one or 20 to one range motor that have specific cooling abilities built in. This threshold can be higher depending on the torque the motor's providing. Many manufacturers provide data on the relationship between cooling efficiency and operating speed for their motors, enabling a precise calculation of the acceptable minimum speed. Always check the manufacturer's data pack if your turndown exceeds a four to one ratio or 15 Hertz. When selecting a BFD for a motor you intend to operate at low speeds, ensure it can deliver the required frequency with a smooth and clean output. Very low speeds or holding torque applications will require a vector control drive or similar. What about motors that start and stopped often? When full power is applied to an electric motor at standstill, the resulting current surge can damage the motor and electronics, and sudden torque loads can damage bearings, pulleys, and mechanical components. For this reason, it's recommended to increase the speed gradually, and a VFD is often used to provide this capability. Have any questions or anything else to add? Leave me a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.